What happens to your brain the first time you do a line of cocaine? You do a line of cocaine, what ends up happening to your brain and the chemical reactions that take place in it is one of the scary parts. And this is what makes cocaine so addictive. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm a recovering cocaine addict. That was my drug of choice. 725.17 was my sobriety date. I got sober. And I like to just share through my testimony and through stories and my experiences for anybody out there struggling. And what people don't realize is when you do this line of cocaine of what happens, well, your brain has neurotransmitters. Two of the major ones are serotonin, which is your mood and memory and all that good stuff, uh, neurotransmitter, and then dopamine. And dopamine is that happy chemical that your brain produces. And it will pass through the synopsis, which are the little gaps between all your neurons. And these just bounce all over through your brain and spread this feeling throughout. So what ends up happening to your brain when you do this line of cocaine is it will produce a massive amount of serotonin, but it is going to produce a lot of dopamine. It's going to be more dopamine than what anybody typically has ever experienced in their life is going to all of a sudden be produced by your brain. Next thing you know is what it ends up doing is it will not actually clear out of the gaps per se. So the, your brain all of a sudden starts to collect dopamine through these receptors, hitting off of the different synopsis areas, hitting these different neurons that make you think that there's even more dopamine per se than what it is. This gives you such a euphoric, big mood energy. All your anxiety is gone. You just, you literally have no worry, no stress, no anything. You have all of this just energy because your brain is producing so much dopamine and so much serotonin, and it's also stacking up and compounding itself, which gives you such an intense feeling. And that is one of the things that hooks people into cocaine so easily. And that's also one of the reasons why people will do cocaine and feel like maybe it sobered them up if they had too much to drink, which in reality, it doesn't sober you up. It actually creates cocathylene, which is a very dangerous euphoric chemical in your system. But because there is so much built up in your brain, that power, that that feeling is actually stronger than the alcohol feeling because alcohol does not clear out of your system unless it's metabolized. Your brain doesn't metabolize anything. Your liver does and cocaine does not change that at all. So now that your brain has produced so much dopamine into your system, now it realizes it's produced so much, too much. So what does it do? It stops the production of dopamine instantly. It cuts it off. Now the dopamine eventually fades out of your system and your brain is not producing any anymore. Now all of a sudden you get hit with the dopamine crash or, or the coke drop or the, the dep coke depression. And that is why cocaine is only going to last the effects in your system 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. It all depends on how much of this stuff is cut. And believe it or not, yes, all cocaine out there is cut, pretty much. Um, if it looks like the white powder stuff that you see in Scarface and in all the different movies out there, that's cut. That is not what actual cocaine looks like. Actual cocaine is a yellowish tint, scaly, kind of like fish scales. But this is what the effects are that first time that you ever do cocaine is you're, you have now just exhibited to your brain this massive amount of dopamine that it has never experienced before. And now all of a sudden it starts to train your brain. The more and more that you do cocaine now down the, the road, the more it changes your reward center in your brain to what it needs to produce dopamine. So if little things in life that maybe used to bring you joy and happiness no longer bring you joy and happiness anymore because you've trained your brain needing such a stimulant to produce this dopamine that now all of a sudden it's harder and harder for your brain to produce it. And we actually do this to ourselves. So this is one of the easy ways that people slide into cocaine addiction and they don't realize it. Is this uh, how our progressive tolerance works when it comes to cocaine? And again, I'm not an expert when it comes to this stuff. I like to just share from my personal experiences and what I've been through to help the ones out there struggling because I know what it's like to struggle out there. I know what it's like to struggle with cocaine addiction. A lot of times people out there don't understand it. Um, again, the stigma around it is almost that it's not that dangerous, which I think it is actually to me one of the most dangerous drugs out there because of the stigma almost that it is safe. So I just share through my testimonies and through my stories for the ones out there struggling. And if you need more resources and more help, I have them listed down below. I have my website down below, ericbzinc.com. I have links down below to NA and AA. And it's finding out whatever helps you get sober. We all are gonna get sober different ways. And it's what way makes you down that path of sobriety that works for you. Is it, you know, doing therapy? Is it, is it doing inpatient? Is it doing outpatient? Whatever it might be. 
but ultimately you and you wanting to get sober. That's the only thing that's going to help you through this whole process is the desire and the want of you to get sober. And so for the ones out there struggling, man, my heart goes out to you. And for the ones that are on day one, week one, whatever it might be, whatever day of sobriety that you're on, I am proud of you. Don't give up because it does get easier and you are so worth it. So hit that like and subscribe button, comment down below. Love to hear your input and love you. Have a long for the journey.